In this video, I'm going to show you guys exactly how to pick a perfect healthy better for your aquarium. One that's active, one that's colourful, one with great fins and one that you won't have any troubles with. And most importantly, one that you're going to absolutely love. So in this video, I'm going to be picking out a better for my future breeding project. I'm actually going to be picking out a few betters because I'm going to be doing some breeding with these guys later. And I thought it would be a great opportunity to show you guys what I look for. Now we're super lucky today to have the chance to look at 200 betters and choose the best out of this lot. The reason we get to do this is my mate Paul who owns a shop has just got this massive order of betters in and if you guys are wondering he's actually going to make an unboxing on his channel that I'll link up in the top right hand corner. So the first thing we're going to talk about is what not to look for. So things that we see in betters that we don't want at all. The first thing that we're going to look at on a better is its fins. Sometimes betters have massive long beautiful fins full of colour and these fins are going to help us to know the kind of life our betters had up until we've got it. So we're going to want to avoid betters with clamped fins and nipped fins and fins with any fungus on them or any other issues. So a better with torn fins we might want to look away from or a better especially with clamped fins that looks like it's swimming funny we don't want to get at all. So any clamped and damaged fins is something that we definitely want to avoid. The second thing we want to avoid is inactive betters. So betters that aren't really swimming around too confidently, aren't really that active and look kind of depressed. Sometimes betters will just be relaxing, so it is important to know the difference between them relaxing and them being sick. So the way we're going to do this is to make sure that the betters actually have an appetite. So we're going to want to look for betters that really want to eat, that are hungry, and the easiest way you guys can do this is just to put your hands up to the cup and see whether the betters start going for your hands. If they're looking for food and they're really responsive, that's normally the sign of a good better. So we want to avoid any betters that aren't responsive and are pretty inactive. Another thing we want to look for is deformed betters. So betters with like a bent spine that aren't straight or betters that have trouble swimming. Some of the long fin varieties might have trouble swimming but that's just because they have massive long fins. We don't want betters that are kind of struggling to swim off the bottom. We want really confident swimmers and betters with really straight spines and really good muscle formations. Another thing a lot of people look over is the betters gills. Sometimes betters have swollen gills and this is due to gill flukes. We're going to want to avoid betters that have swollen gills that look like they're extruding from the betters head. We want gills that aren't really swollen, you can kind of see them a little bit, but look uniform with the betters body. So that's basically all the things that I personally look for when I'm looking at a better that are bad. Now there's a few things that I also look for in betters that we actually want to see. So now we've crossed off everything that we don't want, now we're going to look at things that we do want. So the first thing we're going to look at is colour. We're obviously going to want a better that's got the colours that we want, so a colour that you love. Go through all the betters that you see, pick out the best coloured ones, the ones that you really love, and the ones that you kind of have a little bit of a connection to. After this, go through and make sure that they all have really great fins. So no nipped fins, no bacterial infections on their body, no bacterial infections on their fins. And then after this, make sure that your better's active. We all want a better that's looking to eat. So hopefully your betters aren't in these containers like I've got because these guys have just come obviously straight out of a shipment. Hopefully they've been in the shop for a few days and they're a little bit more responsive. I'm sure you could even ask the shop to feed them and see which ones actually go for the food. If you just tell them what you're looking for, a really healthy better, they're hopefully going to be more than happy to help you. And that's everything that I look for when I'm buying a better. So you guys are probably all wondering, which pairs did I pick out? Well, I ended up picking out three different pairs. I tried to pick a variety of different fish to see what I could end up breeding. The first pair I picked out consisted of two koi betters. A beautiful long fin koi half moon male and just a half moon pakat female. You can see both of these fish have beautiful colours. The second pair I picked out was a little bit different from what I'd normally go to and I picked out a crown tail male and he has beautiful fins and a really striking appearance. And then the female I picked out for him is just a little bit different from all the other females and had like a little bit of a pink colour to her. She's quite interesting looking and I'm interested to see what kind of fry we get out of both of these fish. And then for the third pair, I ended up picking out complete polar opposite types of fish. So I picked out a jet black half moon pakat male and I picked out a dumbo eared platinum female. I'm really, really interested to see what kind of fry we get out of these two, but we'll find that out in a future video. As you can see, all of the fish that I picked out today had beautiful colorings, amazing fins, and were all very, very confident in their swimming, and they all seemed very active and very healthy. Those were some major reasons why I decided to take these fish, on top of the fact that they were all very beautiful, and I really had some kind of connection towards them. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoyed this. 
Like I said, please go check out my friend Paul's channel. He has great content. He's just started up here on YouTube and I'd love for you guys to all go over there and subscribe to his channel. Subscribe down below to stay tuned for the future breeding of these guys and I'll see you in the next video.